All right, guys, welcome back to FTB Endeavor. Guys, we are back here in the world. Last episode, we went ahead and made that kind of monstrosity over there. I did put a little room on the outside off camera just so I could AFK over there. As you can see, I have 54 levels. That's right, we are living like Larry's. So, let's go ahead in here. I uh, pretty much got a lot of stuff. We have... Uh, I was AFK here for a while. I was just slashing these guys away. Watching Breaking Bad. Actually finished it. Great show, by the way. Um, yeah, so I was AFK there for a bit. And, you know, we just need more, more materials. So that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to be making a flux bore. Uh, if you guys don't know what this guy does, uh, this mines a 3x3 three three area, and you just walk through. Um, you walk, and it just mines out like a 3x3, 3x3 three by, three, three by, three by 1. So it's super handy for getting ores down at the lower Y level. So we're going to be working on that today. So here's the recipe for it. I do have all of the materials that we need. So we can go ahead and just craft these up here really quick. Uh, tin gear, we need the iron nugget. Ah, I lied. We didn't have everything. Now we have everything we need. All right, and with just the drill head there, bam, we have everything we need for the flux bore. Perfect, all right, we got it, no problemo. Now, here's the thing, without it being, or without it having a charge, we're not really gonna be able to use it. So we need to make a sterling dynamo, not a problem. Let's see what we need for it here. Uh, looks like we just need another flux coil. And then iron gear. All right, two of those. And it looks like we're going to need to smelt up these guys. All right, so we got the two stone here. So a sterling dynamo. Bam, we got it made up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and kind of steal some coal from these guys. We're going to throw it in here. Is there a way for us to charge? Can't put it in an augment. Figure we couldn't. Wanted to check. Okay, so there's no way for us to do it. So I believe our next bet, our best bet, would be to craft up a redstone um, doohickey guide. Um, let's see. Sorry, a red redstone flux cell. This is what I was talking about. So we're going to go ahead and craft this guy up here. We do need electrum, which is probably why uh, you've been seeing uh, a few things in my inventory here. Uh, starting with everything to make... A, uh, a, a some kiln bricks here. Now I believe we just need like 16 of these and this is overkill for what we're gonna need. Uh, but we also need the engineer's hammer. This guy here, cause we're gonna need to go ahead and give it a click. I thought I clicked that. All right, so let's go ahead, place this. We're gonna need to make some invar and some electrum. These are from thermal. Very, very important that we make these. Um, so I believe it's just, Four blocks each. If we click it. Yes, it is. Just four blocks each. Perfect. As you can see, we got both here. So what this allows us to do is throw uh, silver and gold together to make electrum, uh, which is very important because we need to make this electrum gear. As you can see, if we look here, uh, silver and gold, you get two ingots out of there. So we only need two gold and two silver. Um, I don't know if I have any silver. Let me check real quick. All right, so we don't have any silver, but I do know a great spot to go ahead and get some. So give me one second here, and we'll go down there and, and snag some. And what I mean by down there is down here. As you can see, I've been lighting up this place more and more. There's a lot of ore chilling everywhere, but these mobs in here are really terrifying. So we got zinc here. There should be some silver. I wish I would have mined it when I had seen it the first time. We got Sirs Quartz, Prosperity. What about you? Niter, Osmium, where where you is, Silver, um, how about this, is this it, Certus Quartz, it looks really interesting in this mod pack, aha, Silver, perfect, spooky, all right, so the reason we have two alloy kilns over here is because one of these we're going to be making Electrum, and one of these we are going to be crafting up some um, uh, uh, Invar, that's the word, and we do need a little bit 
of coal here. So we're going to... Actually, we're just going to steal it from this guy because he's not really doing anything. All right. So I believe we're able to put this in. Yes, we are. I was I was worried we might have to put cold coke in here, but we we can, in fact, put those in. Perfect. All right, we do have enough now. Those have all processed up. Didn't take very long. It was only about 30 seconds, so very awesome. Uh, but now we can go ahead here and create the Electrum gear. Perfect. And then we just need some glass. All right. So we can get some glass melting up. All right, so let's go ahead and craft up the cell frame here. Perfect. Okay. And what do we need for this? All right, so we have, oh, I don't know why I clicked that. Let's get up the redstone block here, um, the redstone coil. And you guys might be wondering how we're going to get uh, these cured rubber. Super duper simple. We just need to make some rubber, which requires dandelions around a water bucket for one of them. So if you noticed, uh, I, I do have a bunch of dandelions here. I, I, I actually prepared guys crazy, right? So we're just going to, for one, grab a crafting table. Uh, not grab a crafting table, create a crafting table, and we're going to bring it out with us. And we're going to put it by this infinite water source so we can go scoop, and then we really should have this. There we go. Scoop. All right, you get the point. We just scoop this up a few times, craft it up here, and then we get the required amount. All right, so as you can see, we have the rubber being crafted up here. We have the four cured rubber that we needed for it. All we need now is just two iron ingots. Where did all of our iron go? All right, so with all with the iron, there we go. We have the redstone fluid cell, just like that. I don't even know if this is going to work. We're just trying it out. We have power storage. That's all I know. Okay. No, how do we charge this thing? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make this charging station from charging gadgets. Uh, it looks pretty simple to make, nothing too crazy, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. Uh, but let's give this thing a shot, see if we can charge our stuff in it. All right, so we need to set this to input, correct? Or um, why you no work? Oh wait, there it goes. Okay, now the power's going in and then we're going to push it out the top to our charging station. Hey, look at that, there we go. So just make the charging station, guys. Um, that'll be your best bet. All right, so we got a little bit of a charge here in our flux board. Now let's go ahead and test it out down below. All right, so we're down here in my strip mine. Um, haven't really done a whole lot of digging here because I've been waiting for this guy. Oh shoot, why? Why are you like this? Okay, so I totally forgot about the Tinker's Workbench that we need to go ahead and craft up for this. So, super duper simple to make here. Let me do that real quick. All right, so we make up the Tinker's Workbench now. Perfect, so this should allow us to augment it. Um, let's have a look here. All right, so I found out the augment that we need to get. We need the radial enhancement. This isn't too difficult to make. We just need a bit of iron and some redstone and a little bit of tin. Do I have that little bit of tin? I do have that little bit of tin. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and get this guy crafted up here. All right, and with that, we should be able to, yep, we got the, the augment here. Weird. Augment, there we go. Okay, so now, yes, okay. So it's very important that you guys go into your settings. You go down to, where are you at? The COFH and configure this because it'll be defaulted V. It's going to be um, something else is going to be used and it's going to have a conflict. So then after that, you're good to go. But let's go ahead and for when we got to place these blocks back for the full of, uh, full full effect. Uh, we're going to steal this block. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Look at all of that three by three mining. Now, this takes up quite a bit of power. It's okay. We can always go back and recharge it. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need to make some, like, a flux thingamabobber and stuff like that. But look at that. We cleared out all of this space already. 
It took like no effort whatsoever. All right, so the next step we, we're going to go ahead and do is make the hardened uh, upgrade for this guy. All we're missing is the gold gear. Super easy to make. Uh, so now all we need to do is just do this. And it's going to be put in here kind of like an augment. Uh, but we can go ahead and do this here. Bam. And as you can see, that's upgraded. Now it holds a bit more power up, so it holds up to 100,000. Uh, and this should allow it to mine a bit faster as well. Let's go test it out. All right, we down here, we in our mine. Let's go down to the end and we're gonna punch some stuff. Not really punch some stuff, but we're gonna mine some stuff. Oh, we got turtle shell trinket. I have no idea what this does. If you guys know what this, I can breathe underwater. I doubt that. But look at all that mining. But we definitely have more power being held by it, which is good. I don't actually know what the, the power like holding was before we did this. Um, but I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, we're getting coal again, getting iron. The cool thing is this does mine dirt as well, so we don't have to like switch tools in order to do that. Uh, I would like to make a sawmill version of this where it like, chops down trees, but we don't have to go ahead and do that just yet. Look at this. This is this is quality life. Mining three by three, even though we're not getting any diamonds. It's great. All right, so let's go ahead and make the flux capacitor. You guys got to see this recipe. Look at that. Three lead requires five uh, redstone and one gold. Like this thing, super duper cheap, and it does amazing things where it holds a bunch of power for us. This will hold 500,000 RF there, and we can actually upgrade it. with. We have two different augmentations we can put into it. So we're going to look into those real quick. Um, let's see, I believe this is the one we want, the stabilized RF coil. Okay, so that takes a little bit of silver. Let's see if we still have any of that left. Perfect, we do, alrighty. All right, we got a little bit of silver. We're gonna need some gold. And I believe that's all we need for it. Yes, perfect. Let's go ahead and get this thing crafted up, all right. And so if we switch over to augment mode, bam, three million RF, holy crap. I did not expect that much. Oh my God. So that means we're gonna be able to mine things forever, guys. Holy crap. Uh, I believe this is the transfer rate of it. Um, that's times six RF capacity. Yeah, so this is more, this, this does improve it, but it also makes the transfer rate of it faster. All right, and then this will do a times four, so we'll have a times 10 storage on this thing. I believe we have everything we need to make it. Let's go ahead and try. All right, so let's switch this thing back over. And three million. Okay, so I don't think it stacks, but what this does mean is we can go ahead and grab this guy, put this guy in here. And yes, 400,000 RF. Yes, that's better. That is much better. It's four times what we had before. Perfect. Okay. So we have range add on, more power, and this guy, the hardened integrated components, making it mine a bit faster. Cool. Oh man, guys, I just found diamonds, perfect. All right, so just a little bit further down in this tunnel, and yes, we have enough, perfect. So I actually found four diamonds, I believe, last episode. I don't know if I showed that to you guys on camera. But the problem was, is that I didn't have enough to go ahead and make the, the other part to it. Um, what I mean by that is we had only four, which now we have nine, which we have to kill this guy now. Oh. Oh wow, there's a lot of these guys. Don't worry guys, I am not a professional. Okay. Ooh, iron. Oh, you wanna go too? Oh, we're at half a heart. Frick. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Let's go to sleep. That was a little too close for comfort. All right, so we got those diamonds made up, so we do need to go ahead and make a pickaxe. And then we need to kind of go down and find some obsidian. Now we're going to mine a total of 14. Yep, 10 for the portal and uh, 4 for our um, enchanting table. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, flux bore here just so I don't lose it in some stupid accident. And let's be off. All right, guys, so I have all of the obsidian that we need, but the cool thing is I just remembered that if we use the redstone furnace, we can actually go ahead and turn rotten flesh into leather so we don't have to kill a bunch of cows. Now, this does mean we need to go around and kind of farm up some uh, zombies, but, you know, hey, who cares about killing zombies, right? They're kind of jerks anyway. So we're going to go ahead and work on that now. We do have the bricks for it. Normally, these are the most, like, the most difficult part for me to grab. Um, and then we just need a little bit of gold, a little bit of redstone. We do need some tin. Do we have the tin? Let's smelt up the tin. All right, tin's been smelted up here. Perfect. So all we need... Ah! All right, tin gear crafted. Perfect. All right, then machine frame. Kablam. All right. Oh, copper gears. Holy heck, Batman, how did I miss that? Ugh. I require two more copper. Okay, now we have the proper amount of copper to go ahead and create both of these. I forgot the ingot again. Frick. Okay, so now we can go ahead here. Go like this. Perfect. Go like this. We don't need to make 15 of them. I have made that mistake before. And ta-da, redstone ferni. Um, um, you go here. We don't need this guy here anymore. Yes, perfect. All right, so those guys go in there. They're going to smelt up kind of slow. Actually, no. Not bad. So the reason we're getting rid of this charging station is because of this guy here. The Tinker's workbench can actually go ahead and charge this guy up. So, very cool. Don't need to really worry about that anymore. But now we have leather for our book. Let us go ahead and craft up this. And we need to work on a new base pronto. Probably work on that in the next episode, just so you guys are aware. But now we can go ahead and make an enchanting table. But I forgot the diamonds. All right, now we make an enchanting table with the diamonds. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 ba bam. And ba bam. Look at. I. F <laughs> what? What just happened? I. I don't know. We're going to make it again. Okay. We're the enchanters, guys. We enchant things now. Bam. So cool. We enchant this. I actually want to see if we can get a. a like enchant the uh, flux bore at honestly. Okay, so let's go here like so. Oh, we actually can now. Amazing, look at that, we put efficiency on it. Uh, in the last mod pack I played with this, I was not able to enchant it. So we're gonna go test it out now. Okay, so we got efficiency one on this thing. I definitely think it's faster, yes. Can you imagine efficiency 5 on this thing with the uh, resonant, I believe is it what it is, the resonant flux bore? Oh, man. I believe we can actually put holding on this guy as well. Let's see. Holding, yes. So this will hold even more. We can put holding 4. Yeah, so holding 4, amazing efficiency. We're going to put we're gonna put fortune on it. Um, that way we don't need to like switch out our pickaxe or to our pickaxe or something like that to mine, but it is definitely faster. Now, I don't know if it mines obsidian. I haven't tested that yet, but the flux bore is, uh, what does that do? You will get triple rolls from fishing. Oh, that's pretty neat. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Super Turtle, and today we made the flux bore. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next episode. Peace out. Take care.